The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, 7th chapter, text number 4, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on October 31st, 1975, in Nairobi, Kenya. Translation Earth, water, fire, air, ether, mind, intelligence, and false ego, all together, these eight comprise my separated material energies. Bhumi rāpo na lo vāyu khangamano buddhiri vacha ahankāra iti yang me bhinnā prakiti asthata. Krishna is explaining himself. Uh, God is explaining what is God. That is real knowledge. If you speculate on God, it is not possible. God is unlimited. You cannot understand. Uh, God, Krishna, in the beginning said, Asamsam samagrangma jatha gyasasi tatsino samagrang. Samagra means whatever, uh, Samagra means complete. So, whatever subject for study and knowledge there is, uh, is some total of everything. One. Uh, God is the sum total of everything. Therefore, he begins to explain himself First of all, because we have no information of God, but practically we see the vast land, the vast water, ocean, the vast sky, eh? then fire, so many things, material things, eh? material things also mind, mind is also material, eh? and then ego, everyone is thinking that I am something. Uh, I am kattāham iti mannate ahankāra vimurāt. This false ego. This ego means false ego. And there is pure ego. The pure ego is ahaṁ brahmā. And the false ego, I am India. I am America. I am Africa, I am Brahma, I am Khatri, I am This is false ego, ahangara. So, at the present moment, not at the present moment, always, we are surrounded by all these things. That is our beginning of philosophy. Where from this land came, where from this water came, where from the fire came, that is natural thing. Where from the sky came, how these stars are situated, so many millions and millions. So, these are the inquiries of the intelligent person. That is the beginning of philosophical life. Therefore, those who are thoughtful human beings, gradually they are inquisitive of understanding the Supreme Lord, Krishna. So Krishna is there, and Krishna is explaining himself, I am like this. But unfortunately, we will not understand Krishna. But we try to speculate what is God. This is our disease. Krishna is explaining himself, God is explaining himself. We shall not take that statement, but uh, either we shall deny or we shall accept God without any head and leg and so on, so many things. This is our disease. Therefore, in the previous verse, it has been explained, manusyanam sahasya, kastudyadati siddhaya, Yadatāma pīsit jānāṁ kaschit vetnāṁ tā. 
out of many millions and millions of persons, actually they are serious to understand what is the aim of life, what is God, what is my relation. Nobody. Uh, just like Sahiva Gopal, everyone is interested with this bodily conception of life, like cats and dogs. This is the position. Not only now, always, this is the material condition. But Somebody, Manshanam Sahasesu, out of my millions and one, tries to understand, to make his life perfect. Uh, and out of such per perfection, perfection means to understand his real constitutional position, that he is not this material body, he is spirit soul, Brahma. That is perfection. Uh, perfection of knowledge, Brahma Jnana, Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atmana Sutati Natanti. Samat Sarvi Shubhuti Shubhad Bhakti Labhati Param. After Brahma Jnana, sometimes the Mayabadi philosophers, they say, by Bhakti one gains Brahma Jnana and one uh, becomes liberated, merged into Brahma and so on. Because they say bhakti is meant for the less intelligent class of man. Their acquisition is like that. No, that is not the fact. Bhakti, Kanishtadikari, in the lower stage of bhakti, uh, that is also higher than the Mayavad philosophy. In the lower status of bhakti means that a Chavidraha, anyone, any person, he does not clearly understand what is God, but by the instruction of the spiritual master, one is engaged in the service of the Lord. This morning we have explained the deity worship. Here is God. <clears throat> here is God, actually, but he has no realization that here is God. Uh, that is called Kanishtadikāri, in the lower stage of devotional service. But if he accepts, even theoretically, that he, here is God, then he becomes uh, more advanced than the Mayavadi, who are thinking of God without head and legs. Nidhi-sesvādi. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahāprabhu says that one who has undergone the training by Mayavadi philosopher, his life is finished. Mayavadi bhāsya sunile hoye sarbhuna, he says. He is finished. Because he will never be able to advance in devotional service. And that is the ultimate goal of life. Mada bhakti lavati para, brahma bhūta prasanna, after realization of brahma, when it is actually on the Brahma platform, then the symptom is not sūtati, not kāṅkati. He has no more levanties and, and no more aspiration on Brahma. Then he can see everyone on equal level. Samat sarve sūtati. Because he does not see the outward body. He does not see that here is a Hindu, here is a Muslim. Here is a Christian, here is Indian, here is American, here is black and here is white. No, he sees within, within, introspection. He sees that within, vidya vinaya sampanne brahmani gavi hastini sunite cha sapati cha pandita samadharishi. That is samasarvishu Not artificially, he can make samasarvishu kutesa. Uh, artificial it is not possible. Uh, there will be some distinction, must be uh, bodily. So therefore on the bodily platform they are trying to become united. The United Nation is trying for the last forty years, but there is no unity, it is not possible on the bodily platform. But on the spiritual platform there is unity. Just like in our movement, Krishna consciousness, we will find all different nations, all different colors, all different religion, 
all different sects, they are all united in chanting Hare Krishna. This is united. There is no distinction. <laughs> and this is not artificial, this is practical. So the people are trying to be, become united, uh, oneness. That is not possible on the bodily platform. So uh, this bodily concept of life uh, can be uh, vanquished, can be say, rejected on the spiritual platform. So here Krishna says, the first of all, our material conception of life. Uh, we are in the material world, we see everything as stone and wood and earth and water and fire and everything. We have got the capacity to see all these things. Here Krishna says that this bhumi, this earth, above, uh, this water, onala, this fire, bayu, air, kong, the sky, ether, mon, mind, uh, that is still subtle. Up to ether you can see. Uh, <coughs> but the mind, which is still finer than the ether, mono, that you cannot see. <coughs> Mind, everyone knows, you have got mind, I have got mind, but you cannot see mind. Neither I can see your mind. <coughs> Here is the subtle. First growth, you may upon all of you, up to ether. Ether also you cannot see, but we can understand. Here is ether. By sound. As soon as there is sound, this is the uh, understanding of ether. Uh, ether, by you, you can touch, but you cannot see. Uh, then fire, you can see. And then uh, 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 water, uh, you can <coughs> see also. And then earth, growth. From the finer, we are coming to the growth. Begins from the finer. So, finer than the ether is the mind. Uh, and finer than the mind is intelligence, ego. <clears throat> and finer than the intelligence and ego is the soul. So how you can see so? You cannot see even the material things as soon as it becomes fine. How you can see the soul? Uh, they cannot see, but soul is there. Therefore, when the soul departs from the body, we see uh, the bhumi rapana lavayu khangavana buddhi ahankara, buddhi is ahankara. The man, the dead man is lying, the gross thing we are seeing. Uh, but the mind, intelligence, ego, which is uh, carrying that soul, that is the one. The how transmigration of the soul takes place, that we have no knowledge, no fund of knowledge. We can simply think growth, jaradarshan. Uh, uh, <coughs> it is called jaradarshan. Even there is no sukha darshan. Uh, although there is mind, but you cannot see. That how you can see the soul. Uh, so this is the defect of modern education. So what is beyond your perception, sense perception, that you have to hear. Uh, there are two kinds of knowledge. By practical experience, direct perception, and by uh, hearing from authority, or it is job. Uh, according to Vedic system, there are three kinds of evidences. Direct uh, uh, and pratakha. Pratakha means direct. And then oitijya uh, and then suti. Suti. Suti means hearing from the authority. Uh, just like here, 
we see that there is mind. Everyone knows mind, uh, but it is confirmed by the śāstra because we are hearing from Krishna. This is called Suti. Uh, similarly, when Krishna says in the second chapter, Dehi nasmin jatha dehi kaumāra jūvanam jara tatha dehā antara prāti vīra satyanam Asmin dehe, within this body, there is the proprietor of the body that you have to learn by hearing. Ah, if you want to see immediately, let me see where it is in the... So, your, your so-called scientific research cannot help you. Ah. You have to learn it simply by hearing from yours. This is called Suti. Suti Pramana. Suti Pramana. <coughs> Evidence from Suti. So the Vedic knowledge is called Suti. Uh, you have to learn things beyond your perception simply by hearing from the authority. So Vedic knowledge is the authority. Uh, why we accept Vedas as authority? Because there is a perfect knowledge. I have discussed so many times the authority of the Vedas accepting cow dung as pure, although animal stool is impure. But the Vedas accept this cow dung is pure, we accept it. Cow dung is pure. This is called Suti Praman. So, well, Suti Praman means the, the real knowledge, perfect knowledge, is coming from the Supreme Perfect, Krishna. Ah. <coughs> that perfect knowledge, after creation, Brahma, is the first created being. So Brahma was instructed the Suti, perfect knowledge, uh, by Krishna. Krishna is the original spiritual master. Uh, Vedanta Bhit, he says Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita, Sarvasachaham Ridhisarnivishya Matas Mitigyana Mapuhanancha Vedaśya sadhvi aham eva vedyam vedānta vid vedānta kritya aham. So, Vedic knowledge means the instruction given by Krishna to the first living being, Lord Brahmā. Jarmādhasya jata. From Krishna everything is born, everything is emanate. He says in the Bhagavad Gita that Aham Sarvasya Prabhava, Matta Sarvam Prabhata. Everything is coming from. So, the first engineer of this universe, Lord Brahma, he comes from Krishna. Not directly Krishna, but from Garbhodaksai Vishnu. There is Vishnu Tattva, Krishna, Balaram, Sankarsan. Chaturbhaha, Narayan, Dhitiya Chaturbhaha, again Sankarsan, from Sankarsan, Mahavishnu, Mahavishnu, to Garbhadok Sai Vishnu, Garbhadok Sai Vishnu, Kirodok Sai Vishnu, in this way. So, Krishna is the origin. Therefore, Krishna says, Aham Sarvasya Prabhava. Sarvasya means even this Mahavishnu, Garbhadok Sai Vishnu, Kirodok Sai Vishnu, Narayan, Sankarsan, Anuruddha, Pradhamra, everything. Then again the material world, uh, Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesha, then from Brahma so many demigods, and Vishnu, and Vishnu. Therefore, he is the long Sarvasa Prabhava. This is the knowledge. And the knowledge is also coming from it. Knowledge is coming from it. It is explained in the Srimad Bhagavatam, Janmadrasa. The original person uh, from whom everything is born. Yataha. Annayat itaratascha atheshu avigna. He knows everything perfect. <coughs> Indirectly and directly. Annayat itaratascha avigna. Uh, and where from? Uh, hmm. He got the knowledge. No, Sara. That is his. God means Sarat. He hasn't got to get any knowledge from anyone else. 
Uh, everyone gets knowledge from him, but he hasn't got to take knowledge from anyone. Sara, in the book. So, uh, the Brahma, the first Lord, uh, first creature, living creature, so he got knowledge from Krishna. Tene Brahma Rida Adika Vai. That Supreme Person uh, gave the knowledge to the Adikavi. Adikavi means Lord Brahma, the first learned man. Uh, so our Vedic conception of like creation is not like the Dharma, that uh, uh, he is uh, first creation, I do not know what it is, but they think that they get knowledge from monkey. But, <laughs> We do not take knowledge from monkey. <laughs> Therefore, we do not keep ourselves in darkness. If you take knowledge from monkey, then you remain always like monkey. <laughs> you cannot be advanced. But here it is Bhagavad says, Tene Brahma Rida Adi Kavai. He got knowledge directly from Krishna, the most part way. Uh, Therefore, uh, Brahma is generated from Vishnu. Uh, so the first living creature, the perfect person in the, within this material world, who got instruction, there, that is the beginning of creation. Uh, beginning of creation is not crude uh, ignorance. Beginning of creation is first class knowledge. That is the Vedic conception. So, <coughs> Krishna says that how uh, you are thinking of the material, material scientists, they are studying earth. So, it is called soil expert. Uh, they are studying the uh, soil, where is mine, where is gold, where is coal, where is wheat, there so many things they are studying. Uh, but they do not know where from these things came. Uh, yes, Krishna explained that Bhinda uh, me prakriti. This is my energy. Uh, my energy. How these different chemicals and earthly matters uh, become manifested? Everyone is inquisitive. Any thoughtful man. Here is the answer. Here is the answer. That bhumi rapana lo vayo khangmano buddhiriyo sa ahankara iti ayagame. Bhinna prakriti asadha. Bhinna uh, prakriti asadha. Just like uh, I am speaking, it is being recorded. <coughs> recorded. But in my absence, if the record is played, it will exactly vibrate the same sound. So that is my energy uh, or anyone's energy. But bhinna separated from you. You have to understand like this. That everything is energy of God, Krishna. But this material world means you are missing Krishna. Where from this energy has come? That point you are missing, Dhinna. One who knows, just like the same example in the record, the play is going on, uh, but one who does not know who has recorded this speech, he cannot find out. Uh, but one who knows voice, he can understand it is coming from Prabhupada, this I mean. Uh, similarly, the energy is there, but because we have forgotten the source of the energy, or we do not know the source of the energy, Therefore, we take material things as final. There, this is our ignorance. Uh, this prakriti, this material world, is composed of these things. So where from this came? Uh, that Krishna explains that they are my energies. Uh, because you have to know. So see, to understand Krishna means one must know what is this earth, what is this water, what is this fire, what is this air, what is this sky, what is this mind, what is this ego, uh, this material thing, they should know. 
that were from this thing same. Uh, they uh, only uh, theorize that uh, water is combination of some chemical hydrogen, oxygen. From where, where from the chemical case? Hydrogen, oxygen. Uh, that they cannot answer. Uh, so therefore, this is called achinta shakti. Achinta shakti. If you do not uh, apply, if you refuse achinta shakti in God, achinta shakti, inconceivable image, then there is no God. Achinta shakti sampanna. Now you can understand what is that achinta shakti. Achinta shakti, you have got us. Achinta shakti. Everyone, because we are part and parcel of God, therefore, minute, uh, very, we are, uh, what is the ratio? The ratio is, uh, um, it is said in the Shastra, uh, uh, what is that? Kesagra-satabhāgasya, satadhā kulpita satya jiva bhava samidya samidyena so anantāya kalpata. Ah. Kesāgra sato bhava. Just give an, giving an idea. What is that? The tip of the hair, that's a small pulista. He divides this point into one hundred parts. And that one part again divides into one hundred parts. That is means one ten thousand part of the tip of the hair. That is a foolish of that. That is the magnitude of the jiva. Spirit, spiritual part, uh, molecular part, atomic part. Uh, so, kesadra satubhagasya satubhā kalpita satya jiva bhāga savijñya sa anantāya kalpati. So there is magnitude, but we, because in the material eyes, we can see simply the gross thing, the subtle things we cannot understand. But from the śāstra you have to understand, from the śrīti, then you will understand. <clears throat> there is verse in the Bhagavad-gītā, indriyāni parārāhu, indriyabha paramana, Manasasya paro buddhi, just like here it is said, eh? mana buddhi. Manasasya paro buddhi. Ah. Finer or superior than the mind is intelligence. That is another place it is also explained. The gross thing means ah, these senses, indriyani parārāhu. Ah, this is gross vision. I see a man Means I see his body, his eyes, his ears, his hands and legs and everything. <coughs> that is gross vision. Uh, but finer than this gross senses, there is mind, which is controlling the senses. That is the message. Indriyāni parārāhu, indriya bha parāhmanā. Then mind is controlled by the intelligence. Uh, manasasya paro buddhi. So you have to study like that. Simply like layman, uh, if you dismiss that there is no God, there is no soul, this is simply rascalta. Simply rascalta. Don't remain rascals. Here is Bhagavad Gita. Learn everything very particularly, very minutely. And it is open for everyone. Huh? <coughs> Krishna spoke Bhagavad Gita to Arjur, not for Arjur. He came for everyone, uh, because He loves everyone. Everyone is son. Sarvajoni sukaunteya sambhamanti murtaya tasang mahajjani brahma ahangabhija pagya. He is giving father. Don't take Krishna as a foreigner or something else. No. He is your father, original father, seed-giving father. Uh, and the material nature is the mother. Uh, just like father and mother, the father gives the seeds. Uh, similarly, God gives the seeds. 
and the mind and material nature gives the body. That we have got experience. The father gives the seed in the womb of the mother, and mother creates the body. Similarly, all living entities, they are coming from Krishna. It is not possible to create by chemicals. That is not possible. But one is not convinced, rascal. He tries to make chemical combination to create living beings. This is foolishness. So, because we are learning knowledge from Suti, from the perfect person, we will never be convinced. We shall challenge, we create, rascal create, rascal. Then talk. Otherwise, I shall kick. <laughs> this is our challenge. Because I, I know, we know very well that it will not be possible to create living being by combination of chemicals. He is talking nonsense. That is not possible. So, we have to study from uh, Sruti. Uh, then we become learned. Then we can know what is our constitutional position. Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma Naso Chati. Then he does not learn uh, neither. He aspires everything because he knows everything is complete there, uh, conducted by the Supreme Being. And the Supreme Being says, Maya Dhaksena Prakriti Syati Sacharatana. So this is the uh, understanding of knowledge. Uh, so you take it very seriously, study Bhagavad Gita and learn everything nicely. Be, become learned, uh, uh, jnanavan, bahunam janvanavanti jnanavan mantrapadyate, and just try to surrender to Krishna, then your life is successful. Thank you very much. Any question? <coughs> The soul has got a his mind. What is this? Devagi. The soul is original consciousness. Soul has got his body, his mind, intelligence, everything. So this mind, material mind is covered. As the soul is covered by the material things, similarly the mind is also covered. So, the spiritual life means as we become liberated, the mind also becomes liberated. The intelligence also becomes liberated. <coughs> Any other question? When the soul leaves the body, yeah. does it go with the intelligence and go and... With material, covered. That forces him to get another body, according to the mind desires. At the time of death, the mind desire, uh, he gets this in the body. Jangjangamapi saran bhavam maran bhavam sajatanti kalevara. Therefore, you have to practice how to remember Krishna at the time of death, then immediately they transfer to the spiritual world. Yes, this is action. If you madhyaji no pijamchi maam, if you practice devotional service, then at the time of death there is great possibility of understanding or remembering Krishna. You have to practice. This Krishna consciousness movement means we are 
leading person to uh, make the mind uh, absorb in Krishna consciousness. Then there is chance of remembering Krishna at the time, time of death. And as Krishna says, Takta dehang punar janmanunti. That person, after giving up this body, he does not get any more material body. Uh, then what kind of body? Mati. He gets the similar body as Krishna, Satchitananda Vigra, for eternal life of this world. Suppose the rascal remembers at the day time that Krishna. A rascal cannot. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, even, if, even if he remembers, Usually they die in coma. Huh? Usually they die in deep unconsciousness. That is not very good. <clears throat> coma is not good. That is the sign of sinful death. He must be conscious. That is the coma. Originally, the desire comes from the subtle body or from the soul. The mind. Soul is now dependent on the mind. The mind has to be uh, trained up. That is called yoga. Though too much in the body, the concept of life, the hot yoga is uh, recommended to control the mind. Yoga, immigration yoga. Yoga means to control the senses. The senses, the mind is the master of the senses. Therefore, controlling the mind. Yoga is the Sangha. Spiritual, you are spiritual. <coughs> Unless you understand that you are spirit, there is no question of practicing yoga or jnana or bhakti. That is material platform, kormis, mulas. Unless you understand that you are Brahma, Aham Brahmasmi, there is no question of other higher processes. Higher other processes, there are four things karma, jnana, yoga, bhakti. So, karma is meant for the grossest person who are simply interested in this body. That is karma. And the, who are, who are baffled in this body the conscious of life wants to uh, know what is the actual life. That is jnana. And then practice of yoga. And the ultimate is uh, bhakti. All these are yoga, karma yoga, jnana yoga, bhakti yoga, hatha uh, yoga. But Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, yogi nama pi sarve saṁ, of all the yogis. Huh? Madhukata antarātmana, when he is thinking of me, always, huh? sadhyāvā, with faith, bhajate. Huh? Bhajate means bhakti. From the word bhaja, bhakti comes. Bhaja sevāyā, so bhajadhātakti is called bhakti. So here the very word is used, bhajati ma, sadhyamāna bhajati ma, that means bhakti. So one who is engaged in bhakti yoga, he is recommended as the first class yoga. Dhuji nāvati sarve ha, madhugata, antarātana, sadhyamāna bhajati yoma, samin yukta. Krishna says he is first class. So this Krishna consciousness movement means we are trying to make all first class yogis. Uh, he's fallen, he's gone. Yoga Bhrashta. So, Yoga Bhrashta 
when he has fallen from the instruction of the spiritual master, but the spiritual master sometimes so kind that he delivers him in the next bath also. But it is not our duty to bring the spiritual master to save me again in the next life. <laughs> it is not very good disciple. <laughs> The time of death, some people become free conscious. No unconscious. There is consciousness there is. So long one is not death, the when the soul is gone out of the body, the consciousness is there. Eating in the sleeping condition. If he is fortunate. About this, 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 why you are forbidden? No illicit sex, no meat eating, no intoxication, no gambling. This is controlling. If you don't accept this controlling, then you are lost. Why are being in India? <laughs> <laughs> Is it mean we are simply for India? No. Then, then why being in India? Anyone who does not know what is Bhagavad Gita and Krishna is a rascal. He is not a prophet. He is a rascal. Nobody can become prophet without full knowledge of Krishna. Not that everyone will become a very prophet. No. That is stated in the Bhagavad. Namanu Duskita Namu Raha Prapadyante Narano. Anyone who has not surrendered to Krishna, he is a Narada. How he becomes a prophet? <laughs> Just see. Don't bring so called prophets. They are all Narada. Lowest of men. And he is prophet. No, prophet is not so cheap. Tanmi is guided by these rascals. <coughs> Krishna says it is not our one. The sign that anyone who does not know about Krishna and he has not surrendered to Krishna, he is Narada. Hmm? No guarantee. Species, he may become a dog and he may become a demigod also, according to his karma. Madhyaji, no pi janti, no pi. Janti deva brata deva, pitrin janti, pitrin brata, bhutedya janti bhutani. According to his karma, he gets the next body. There is no guarantee that he will get human body. Therefore, it is very risky civilization as a modern tribe. They do not know what is the goal of life. Simply like cats and dogs, they are eating, sleeping, having sex life and dying. Yes. They do not know. Very risky life. 
nati vidu sartha gatin hi vishnu this is the statement of the sastra he is as scared they do not know they what is the goal of life to understand vishnu or krishna nati vidu sartha gatin hi vishnu durasaya di bahiratthamani na in the external energy of krishna this bhumi lago bhinna prakriti ne astha bhinna ha नथी विदु सार्थ गतिन ही विष्णु दुराशया ये बहिरथ मानी बहिरथ में इज एक्सटर्नल सेपरेटेड एनर्जी मेटीरियल दे ट्राइंग टू बिकम हैप्पी बाय एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ दिस भूमि अपॉन ऑल ओवर देयर देयर इंप्लिकेटेड विद दिस भूमि अपॉन ऑल ओवर एक्सटर्नल बहिरथ मानी सो दे आर अंधा ब्लाइंड अंधा दथा नई रूपनीय माना एंड दे आर लीडिंग आदर में ईस्टर्न एंड मॉर्थ एट द प्रेजेंट मोमेंट दिस इज दर्ल्ड मेटीरियल वर्ल्ड इज अंधा ऑल ब्लाइंड This is there is no question of eastern or western. This is our manufacture. The eastern is better than the western. Just like stool, stool upside it is dry, <laughs> and the uh, downside it is moist. If you say this side is better than the other, <laughs> it is after all stool. So what is better side or? We don't make such things as Eastern and Western. We test whether is Krishna conscious. That's all. All right, chanting.